All right, I'll tell him. Hey, Baxter, that was personnel. Mr. Sheldrake's secretary. Sheldrake? She's been trying to reach you for the last 20 minutes. They want you upstairs. Hey, what gives, Baxter? Are you getting promoted? Huh? Or getting fired? Would you care to make a small wager? Well, I've been here twice as long as you have, and they like never... say a dollar. Huh? It's a bet. Excuse me. Hi. 27, please. I drive carefully. You're carrying precious cargo. I mean, mad power-wise. 27. You may not realize it, Miss Kubelik, but I am in the top 10, efficiency-wise. And this may be the day, promotion-wise. You're beginning to sound like Mr. Kirkaby already. Well, why not? Now that they can't be upstairs. <laughs> Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. You know, you're the only one around here who ever takes his hat off in the elevator. Really? The characters you meet. Something happens to men in elevators. It must be the change of altitude. The blood rushes to their head or something. Boy, I could tell you stories. That I'd love to hear them. <laughs> Maybe we could have lunch in a cafeteria sometime. Or, or some evening after work. 27. Oh. I hope everything goes all right. <laughs> I hope so. Wouldn't you know they call me on a day like this, what with the cold and everything? How do I look? Fine. Wait. Thank you. You know, that's the first thing I ever noticed about you. When you were still in the local elevator, you always wore a flower. <laughs> Good luck. And wipe your nose. <laughs>